Have you ever read a story, or perhaps seen it portrayed in a movie, where the characters are trying to find something? It's hidden, perhaps, in a castle, or in the woods, or someplace. And they've gone at great lengths to try to go up to a wall, and try to open up the wall, and try to figure out just where on the wall is just the right brick to push or what a tree knob to push. For those of you who have ever seen the movie The Princess Bride, you know an Indio is trying to get down the steps, and they're trying to find the men in black who will solve their problems. And he's got his sword, and he's trying to appeal to his father, and he just can't find the knot in the tree that will open up the door. And then in his final moment, he just goes like this, and it pops open. Interesting that we have in our scripture for this Ash Wednesday, that passage from Matthew which basically says, don't put any marks on your forehead. Do not be like the hypocrites. Don't make your face dismal. All right? And, and so we struggle because we come here, most of us I would think, prepared to receive an outward mark on our foreheads. One that might stay there through the course of the day. You could wash it off or you could leave it. And, and I, would, I would present this thought to you. There was a mark made on your forehead perhaps many years ago. You see it done today during baptisms. When we take the chrism and we say, Your mark is Christ's own forever in the power of the Holy Spirit. Marked as Christ's own forever. Have you ever crossed yourself? In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. I know for myself that having grown up in the Roman Catholic tradition, we did all kinds of acts of piety. Crossing ourselves was one of them. And I, as I became of an age of reason and went to college and went through my formative period of asking questions about everything, and then found my way to the Episcopal Church. Doggone it! I was not going to cross myself. Because that's what those Romans did, and nobody ever gave me a good reason. It just don't do that. Then one day I, I met a priest who was the one who helped me figure out I was supposed to go to seminary. And he said, you haven't really thought about this at all. Almost evoking another movie image, young Padawan. He says, perhaps when you cross yourself, it's not just in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. But I recommit myself to the promises made and holy baptism. For again, we're here on Ash Wednesday. Ashes will be put on your forehead. You will hear the words, remember that you are dust, and to dust you shall return. And you will remember the finite nature of what it is to have this particular form of life. But perhaps you'll also remember because it is the mark of a cross that we will put on your forehead. You'll remember perhaps out of this prayer, Lord Jesus Christ, you stretched out your arms of love on the heart of the cross that everyone might come within the reach of your saving embrace. And then, did you know, that prayer continues. So clothe us in your spirit that we reaching forth our hands in love may bring those who do not know you to the knowledge and love of you through the honor of your name. Perhaps, perhaps, when you touch your forehead where that mark of baptism was made, sealed in the spirit, Holy Spirit, Christ's own forever, where now this mark of the cross has been made, perhaps it's a way to remember that you too are also 
bring your arms open. In much the same way that Jesus' arms hung on the heart of the cross, that everyone might come within the reach of his saving embrace. That when you touch here, that is another way of saying, so clothe me in your spirit. 